Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft 15W38B of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. And uh, this is um, some more um, uh, more discussion about item elevators. Um, uh, this right here is a kind of a specialized uh, base for a water channel, uh, which I'll show you exactly why this uh, is arranged the way it is. Uh, but first, I, I need to say that um, the item ele elevator fix that I had made uh, prior, uh, which is over there in this experimental world somewhere, um, that uh, in, with the door and uh, pressure plate combo, that is not going to be viable in the next snapshot. So apparently that relies on a bug that has been fixed, so that's not going to work. Um, uh, now the big advantage that that had is that it, it allows items to go up nice and slow and steady uh, up a uh, one of these glass item ele elevators. Uh, and um, and so I decided to try to figure out if there was another way that I could make that happen. Uh, and um, one of the things that is not very well known about the glass item elevators is that glass is really just a stand-in for transparent cube solid. Uh, so you can <laughs> so you can use um, any cube solid, uh, any transparent cube solid. Um, besides glass, you could make one of them of glowstone. Uh, my personal favorite is TNT. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can have a TNT item elevator. Um, but um, uh, there are other transparent cube solids uh, besides uh, uh, besides glass. Uh, and it turns out that one of uh, one of them is pistons. Um, so um, I thought. If uh, if I use a piston to push an item from the bottom into a, into a glass tower, um, it really shoots up uh, fast. Uh, and it gains velocity, it goes up, and uh, that causes some problems for collecting at the top. Uh, but what if I push it down? What if I what if I try to push the item down? Um, so that's the basis for this. Um, but uh, and now comes in this specialized water stream here. Um, this uh, this part here is just sort of incoming uh, incoming uh, items. Uh, the important bit is here. I, I need items to be against the side of this uh, uh, side of this wall over here. So that's why there's the corner here. Uh, and then these two blocks slow it down, uh, and then it uh, speeds up just enough uh, into this channel uh, and speeds up just enough over here. Uh, so that when it finishes, it will always land more or less right in the exact middle of this block. And we'll see why that's important in a second. I'll, I'll show you how that works. Go ahead and fill the water in here. Okay, so uh, if I throw an item in here, we'll see that it lands pretty much in the center uh, of this block right here. There it comes. There we go. So it's pretty close to center. It doesn't have to be exact, but uh, pretty close. That's That's good. Uh, and now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some pistons. Let me uh, put one right uh, right here, and I'm going to put one facing down uh, right here. So I'm actually going to be pushing uh, a glass block down into the item that's there, and uh, the item will rise up. And the reason why the item has to be in the exact center is that if it's not, it will not rise up through the piston stem. Instead, it will get stuck in, in that block. So it has. So the item has to be more or less in the middle here. So uh, let me go ahead and fill in some glass here. Uh, again, this doesn't really. Uh, the middle blocks don't actually have to be glass. Um, any transparent cube solid will do. Uh, jack o' lanterns, TNT. I think maybe redstone ore. Haven't tried it. All right, that's good enough. Uh, so I'm going to be taking a signal off of this pressure plate. I, I need it to be slightly delayed to give the item enough time to get into that block there. Uh, so I'm going to put a repeater here on four ticks, uh, getting the signal off this pressure plate. Uh, and then I need that uh, I need to carry that signal so that it's powering uh, both of the pistons here. There we go. Uh, but the piston needs to stay extended for long enough for the item to go up through the stem before it gets retracted. Uh, otherwise, it will just shoot out the top as if it was pushed up by a piston. 
so uh, that um, uh, that means the signal here needs to last uh, I think at least 10 redstone ticks I, uh, um, if I remember correctly from my experimenting um, yeah, I, so I'm going to add a pulse extender here um, this is just a fader pulse extender uh, it's a little bit overkill it's longer than 10 redstone ticks but it's good enough and I think I think that is all wired up. So uh, I think we can go ahead and give this a give this a try and see what happens. Let's try to see it from the glass side here. Piston extends and the item floats up through the piston stem, uh, which is which is just fantastic. Floats up through the piston uh, through the piston stem and the extended piston. Uh, and uh, of course the glass on top, <laughs> but it does have that nice uh, smooth flow up. It's not shooting out the top uh, like it uh, would if it was uh, pushed from the bottom or ejected from a dropper. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't know how practical this is, but uh, it was really fun to <laughs> really fun to make this, uh, and um, uh, it may be that this can be incorporated into something a little bit more practical, but. Uh, as it is, it's it's maybe just uh, <laughs> some uh, some conceptual fun. So uh, that's it then for this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave a note for me. Uh, and thank you very much for watching.